Yo, 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 what's happening, party people? My name is Mr. Baker, the music maker, coming at you with my last YouTube video of 2021. Oh, yeah, it's been quite a year, quite an awesome year. Great things are coming in 2022, but might as well do one of the most popular songs from 2021, one of the highest stream songs, I think top three stream songs in the U.S., and that is called Stay by Kid Leroy and Bustin' Jeebers. Let's check it out. Uh, sounds great. Now, looks a little complicated, kind of is, but it's very repetitive. So it should be easy to throw together. So we got to start from scratch. So let me drag this down, click restart. Now we have a blank canvas, but we have to change a few things in the settings before anything else. Make sure you do the settings first. Otherwise, if you do the settings later, it might totally change up your song and mess it up. So settings is that gear icon on the bottom. Click that. You're going to change Two things in this one. Length, we got to double it. We don't need four bars. We need eight bars. So go ahead and add four bars to that to make it eight. Eight bars of length. Good to go. One more thing. We got to change the scale, which means which notes are available. Now, we don't only need the notes in the major scale. We need the chromatic scale. So change major to chromatic because we need all the notes for this one. We need the ones in between all these other shades of colors. So those are the only things you got to change. Length is eight bars, scale, chromatic. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and click the blue check mark to make sure you save your settings. If you click the X, it'll delete them. Boom. We have saved our settings and we have a blank canvas still, but we have more notes. We have all 12 notes. It's chromatic. And we have eight bars, four bars here, and four more bars if you scroll over there. Excellent, excellent. So the next thing we're going to change before we put any notes in, before we do any drums or change the sounds, is the tempo. Tempo is a fancy word that means the speed of the song. So speed of this song is actually 170. So it's faster than 120. If you drag it up here, it, I don't believe it will let you land right on 170. So a quick trick is you can double click that number and type it in 170 return. Click enter. And now you have it on 170. Tempo is good to go. Don't worry about the sounds you're going to use yet, because we'll change those later, depending on what you think sounds best with the song. So go ahead and leave those as marimba and electronic for now. Now we're going to skip the drums. We'll put the drums in later, and I'll tell you why when that time comes. But let's start with some notes. From left to right, remember we got eight bars. White, gray, white, gray. That's what separates each bar. First, we got to start out with a nice forest green, which is six down from this thick blue line. One, two, three, four, five, six. This forest green shade, not the dark green, not the lime green, but that forest green. Right after that, you're going to put in a red. That's right above the blue line. Then right after that, you're going to put in a dark orange, which is the one directly above the red. Remember, we're not skipping any yet. So we have forest green, red, dark orange. Then you got to go up top for a nice deep blue color. That one, not the purple and not the uh, teal, but we have the shade in between, like call it a deep blue. So now we have the first four notes ready to go. Forest green, red, dark orange, deep blue. Let's hear it. Sounds good to me. Sounds like the song already. Now we got to skip two after that deep blue and then put another dark orange right there. Then if you skip one after that, it should lead you directly to the end of that white section, bar one. So bar one is complete. Forest green, red, dark orange, deep blue. Skip two, dark orange, skip one. Let's hear it so far. Cool, cool. Bar one is done. Let's go ahead and hop on to bar two, which is the gray, first gray section. Now, that deep blue one we need up here, we now need it at the very beginning of the gray, but below the thick blue line. So that is going to be this one. It's four down from the thick blue line. Boom. Have that same one. Then you're going to skip one after that. We didn't skip one before. We're going to skip one after that deep blue. And then we're going to put the red and dark orange like we did there. But remember, you got to put one in between that deep blue and the red. And after that, you have to skip two after the dark orange. Then put another one of those deep blues. Very simple bar two. Deep blue, skip one. Red, dark orange, skip two. Deep blue, skip one. The end of bar two. Let's check it out. Sounds right to me. Let's keep going. Bar three is that second white section right here. 
first white section is done, first gray section is done. Here comes the second white section, which is going to start with a nice magenta shade. That's that one right there. Not purple, not pink, but the one in between, nice magenta at the beginning of bar three. Then you're going to put, just like we did in the first bar, very similar, you're going to put the red and dark orange uh, right after that, followed by a high dark blue like that. So bar three is looking a lot like the beginning of bar one, but instead of start with that forest green, we start with a magenta. Magenta, red, dark orange, deep blue. Skip two, throwing a dark orange. Boom, bar three is done. So magenta, red, dark orange, deep blue. Skip two, dark orange, skip one, which is very similar to the first, except for the first note. Bar one and bar three, very similar. Let's hear it so far. Cool. Next up is bar four. And then the thing just repeats itself. Bar four starts with not a forest green, but a lime green, which is the one directly below the forest green. So above the yellow and below the forest green sits a nice lime green shade. Then you skip one, just like we did in bar two. We skipped one this time. Then you're going to put that same dark red and dark orange afterwards. Very repetitive. Then you have to skip two afterwards put in that deep blue we had before, then a magenta right after. So we don't skip one after the deep blue this time, we got a magenta right there, which is very similar to bar two, except for the first note is a lime green and the last space of it has a magenta in there. Let's hear it so far, it should sound like the first half of the tune. Sounds great. Now, the cool part about this song, which is going to make your life a lot easier, is the next three bars, which is five, six, and seven, are actually the exact same thing as the first three bars. So I'm just going to quickly plug in those notes because you've already put them in, so you should be able to scroll back and forth and add them as well. Let me go ahead and plug them in here. It's got that four screen. That deep blue. And that's looking like the beginning. Yep, exactly. Bar five is exactly the same as bar one. Looks good. Let's make bar six just like bar two. Very similar, actually exactly the same. So we have the dark blue, skip one. And then skip two after the dark orange and you get that. Let's check, is that one the same as bar two? It sure is. We're ready for the next bar, bar seven. The last two bars is all we need. So. Bar seven is looking just like bar three. So that magenta, red, deep orange, deep blue, and then you know what I mean. Okay, let's do it. Boom, 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 boom. Check back here. And that's dark orange, yep. So these three bars are exactly the same as the first three bars. And then we have one bar left at the very end, which is just a little quick turnaround that repeats the pattern. Let's hear it so far before we continue. Again. Cool, the last bar is a little bit different. So stop right here to check your work. Make sure you got all the spacing correct. Otherwise, it's gonna sound a little funky, a little off. Then we'll put in that last bar. Let's go ahead and throw in that last bar. Thanks again, y'all. Little shameless self-promotion. Make sure you like and subscribe. All that good stuff. Your support means the world to me. I really appreciate y'all watching my videos. So, lime green at the very end. We got bar eight right here. Let's throw it together. We got lime green. Nope, there's lime green right there. Then we're going to skip one. Then we have something a little different. We're still going to do the red and dark orange. But right after that dark orange, you put another red. Then right after that red, you put a dark blue, deep blue. And you put a magenta right after that deep blue. And then you have a blank one at the very end of the last bar. So go over that again. Lime green, skip. Red, dark orange, red, deep blue, magenta, skip. And that is the very end of the song. If it's all correct, it should sound like the original. Cool. So the only difference is the end. It goes dun -dun 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 -dun. little turnaround to repeat the pattern over and over. Now, 
Here's where you can experiment with your sounds to see which one you like the best. Marimba is not my favorite for this one. That's like the big xylophone thing. Doesn't really sound the best. The two that sound the best, in my opinion, on this one, it's up to you. You can pick whatever you want. But strings, like a plucked violin sound, let's hear that. I like that one and also synth because synth is synthesizer, which means electronic. This is a very electronic song, so that's going to sound really characteristic of the original song itself. Let's hear it. Cool. Excellent. Now all we need to do is throw in the drums. If you want to leave the drums out, that's totally up to you. You don't have to put the drums because the very beginning of the song has no drums. Then after the pattern repeats, the voice comes in. After that repeats, then the drums are in. So it's up to you how you want to do the drums, but the drum part is actually super simple, about as simple as it can get, which is just circle, skip, triangle, skip, circle, skip, triangle, skip, boom, boom which is your standard boom smack pattern. Very similar to like Blinding Lights and other popular songs that have this kind of feel to them. It's becoming really common in a lot of new music, which is great because it's simple and simplicity works well in music, especially one that are really repetitive like this and catchy. That's what gets stuck in your head. So I'm just plugging this bad boy in. Again, like and subscribe, I love you. Let's go back, boom. Make sure you put a space after every shape or the drums are going to sound a little funky. Let's hear it. Hear that? The drums drive it, makes it has more of a forward motion, drives the song along. It sounds really cool. Another option, you can leave the first four bars without drums and then add the last four bars of drums if you want, like to have like a delayed entrance or you can just leave them out altogether. Up to you. So yes, make sure you experiment with the sound of your instrument that you want. Here's your drum sound. I don't recommend changing it from electronic because electronic sounds almost exactly like the original. You can experiment with that if you want, but I would leave that as electronic. Experiment with your instrument sound. Make sure your tempo's at 170. Check your spacing. Make sure your settings are all good. And if all is correct, it should sound exactly like the original. Stay by Kid Leroy and Bustin' Jeebers. Oh yeah, thanks for watching the most hit, popular hit of 2021. We got great things coming in 2022. Again, thanks for y'all's support. My name is Mr. Baker, the music maker. Keep on making music, stay musical. Great things are coming. Happy New Year. And to all, a good night.